on our way to Victory Road. It actually is Victory Road. There are trains. We stumble across the Krozna. What is going on here? The Krozma has fallen to the ground, weak and drained of power. Will you share the light of your Z power ring with the Krozma? Oh wow. Uh, for Lily's sake. It's the same theme as Sokaleo. And you're not. 65, eh? Good thing I grinded somewhat. Mm, okay, okay. Hmm. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Or not. Psychic move. Mm. Alright. Well, guess what? Here comes Nebby. One level higher than you. <laughs> Very well. We'll up our defenses as well. Oh, what? Oh, jeez. This Macrosma is full of surprises. Fine, we're gonna play that game. We're fast. And here's a crunch. <laughs> Oh, this is a good battle of ages. Oh, yes. Crunch again. Alright, that should do it. Ah. Hang in there, maybe. I bought these balls just for the special key. Dust ball. Come on. Yeah, free, 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 and one more for the click! Okay, you better be adamant. Alright. Alright, Espeon. Do your job. And Krozma. Okay, alright. Yes. Alright. It looks somehow pained as it rages around in search of light, which serves as its energy. It's apparently from another world. Ah, uh, no, no nickname. Alright. The cosmos, if it's not element, I'll soft reset, but I'll just get out of this and see if there's a cutscene or what. Alright, a bit, a bit. Ah, fuck. It's a modest? Ah. Normally for Necrozma, a model. Hey, it's holding an item. Ultra Necrosium Z. Holy shit. This is a crystallized form of Z power. It upgrades Necrozma's photon geyser to a Z moon. Jesus. Um. Normally for Necrozma, a modest is good nature. But, uh, because if you fuse it with Sogaleo, Sogaleo is an adamant attack based, thus main Necrozma, and then you transform it again, its stats are both, you can use for both adamant models, like attack or special attack. Well, I don't know. I don't know, let's just get out of this. Ah, sent to a box. Yeah. Box as it is. So now what? 
We found the deep crystal that fell from the cosmos. So we're going to open the cosmos zoo. My freaking god. Ah, I thought he was going to come. For a splendid. Oh, wow. It's been a while, Italia. For some reason, he, rem he reminds me of Whis from Super or something. Yeah, I don't know. You must be a formidable trainer, indeed, if you are able to get Necrozma as one of your allies. Tell this talent voice in the black and white anime too, yeah. Good, and this is from me. The Ultra Recon Squad asked me to develop a device that would be able to control Necrozma. See, so this is like a Kurum treatment. But I improved it to my own liking. And now it is a device that makes it possible to draw out even more power from the Necrozma. Oh my god, I'm confused already. Yes, in short, it makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse with the legendary Pokemon Soga Lake. This is the Koras machine number 1198, officially dubbed the End Solarizer. Mm. Look at that device. Ah, Solarizer. In addition, this is the Chorus Machine number 1999, officially dubbed the End Lunarizer. <clears throat> so if you have a Lunala, you can fuse the opposite. Ah. It makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse with the legendary Pokemon Lunala. Hmm. Okay. So for Lunala, it's best you have Modest and for Sogaleo, Adamant. You know, that's how, that, that's how it works. Ah, I have a modest Necrozma and my son. I have to softly sit for Adamant because, uh, uh, oh, actually, could, uh. Ah, yes, I've heard, in fact, that you first met Sogaleo. No, it's pre-evolved Cosmog upon my Halo trial. Mm. I believe that a trainer like you will be able to use both Alola's legendary Pokemon and the fearsome power Necrozma properly. I happen to know quite a bit about Pokemon Fusion myself. <clears throat> yes, you do. But that is a different tale. Mm. Good luck in your battles.